This podcast contains strong language. Listener discretion is advised. Let's write a movie. The podcast. Hey, welcome to the podcast. I'm Paul. Welcome. <laughs> and that's that is Rowan. Hi, everyone. Sorry. He's a bit of an unusual one. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is Let's Write a Movie, where we take nonsensical ideas for a conflict, a setup, and a resolution, and we chuck in a genre, and we, we make a movie out of it. We formulate a movie, don't we? We formulate Sorry, it. Sorry, I'm jumping in on your no, it's fine. crevasse. On my crevasse. Right. <laughs> anyway. Um, I like what you did there. Rowan um, picks the stuff, so Rowan, do you want to pick it? Start with a setup. <laughs> right now I'm looking at... I'm looking Paul right in the eyes. Yeah. Now my eyes are reading. Sets up the car mechanic, finds out he has superpowers. Oh, yeah. oh that's, a, that's pretty cool. Mm. I if I was a mechanic, I wouldn't mind that. Mm. Conflict. I'm looking at Paul in the eyes. Now I'm reading. Keep hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Conflict. At the zoo, falls in tiger pit. Oh, but he's a man, he's got superpowers. Yeah, he's fine. Resolution. That mm. that could be a little kid falling into the tiger pit, and he's oh, that's saving. Right, him. you're right. Point that out, Paul. So we right. shouldn't be so rigid in our interpreting. And the resolution will ruin everything, I assume, like it usually does. <laughs> Saves the city from complete destruction. Oh, that fits perfectly. It's a superhero. <laughs> it's a superhero. Oh, this is not a superhero one. <laughs> not uncommon. <laughs> Genre. Crime. 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 Nice crime so, files. He saves the city from complete destruction from the mafia. I don't know. So, nice. right. I got this. I'm taking this He's off. One. Paul's going. Okay, so everyday pool, uh, pool mechanic. No, car mechanic. I'm Paul. Um, called Roger. Um, he uh, is working on a car one day. On a Mazda CX-R215. Mm. I don't know cars. Fast. A very fast car. Mm. Yeah. Not um, to 60. Not to 60 in a matter of seconds. Yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, he, so he's working on the car, and he's well, he's working underneath, and suddenly... Um, Paul was mimicking using a spanner or something. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I like what you... I talk with my hands. <laughs> yeah, so he's working on the car, and... Now he's playing a flute. <laughs> Fucking hell, stop talking Sorry. about my hands. Sorry. <laughs> So he's working on the car, and all of a sudden, the car... Falls off its stilt things that they have in mechanic <laughs> carriages, yeah, and it lands on him. I'm for that. And it lands on him. Yeah, nightmare situation. Oh, Roger. I know, right? Uh, so he, um, but then suddenly, so it, it's there. You know, it, it's just looking at the car for about five seconds, and suddenly the car is lifting up. So out of nowhere, he's got this super strength. Some would say it was the brake fluid that went into his guts. I don't believe it. it's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, so he's lifting up the car and he chucks the car against the mechanic. He's, angry, and he's, he's like, angry with the car, isn't he? He's angry with it. The, the car him. caused him pain. And he, he's he, quite, is he quite a simple man? Oh, well, yeah. I don't want to get into mechanics, but we'll leave that. <laughs> um, what, you think mechanics are simpletons? We're not simple. They certainly take the money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he gets... Does he say anything as he throws the car? Um, Bastard car! There you go, that's what can I be? The, can I be him? Yeah, you can be him. I'm Roger. Right. Bastard car. Yeah. You hurt me. Fuck off. Oh, I'm strong. How did I do that? <laughs> so he, he's not aware of the superpowers yet. He just thinks he's a bit strong. Oh, yeah. Um, so he gets home to his wife and he and he tells her what's happened. Louise, Louise, car fell on me at work. Guess what happened? What I happened? Picked it up and threw it at the wall, the bastard. What? I know. You must have some sort of superhuman well, strength. I, know, I didn't realize. I knew I was strong, like, but I didn't realize I was that strong. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to look at my biceps? Oh yes, please. Oh, can I lick them? Yeah, yeah. Go on then. I I'm like that. Oh, your tongue's massive. I forget how big your tongue is. <laughs> it's delicious. That's just a brake fluid. Oh, can you pick me some of that up? I want to drink it. <laughs> anyway, so they have a little conversation. And she can't believe what's happened, obviously, from that previous conversation. So uh, the next day he's back at work and he's talking to his chum, Rick, about what happened. Hey, so Rick, uh, did you hear about what happened to me yesterday? Well, I know I saw a fucking car on its roof. What happened there? Well, it, it fell on me, so I chucked it off myself to save myself. 
Oh, fucking hell. Are you some sort of superhuman? Well, I don't know, but apparently I'm dead strong. Ah. I'm, but sorry about the damage to the car, uh, but we can fix it with mechanics. It's true. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, so the rest of the day at work goes normally. Um, and then the next day, it's a weekend, and he decides to take his missus and his, and his little daughter... Come on, Petra. To, to the zoo. Let's go little, see the tigers. Louise and Petra. Louise, Petra, get in the car. Look, we hurry up. I want to go and see these fucking tigers. Sorry for sorry for swearing. I know I shouldn't. Sorry, Why Petra. Did you swear? Don't copy me, Petra. I just I'm a bit look. I'm I'm uh, fucked off about you swearing. The Petra, don't repeat. When you're an adult, you can. I can't remember what Louise's voice was. <laughs> <laughs> just generic. Yeah. Anyway, let's get in the car. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um. So they get to the zoo. They're looking at the penguins, meerkats. They get to the tiger. I want to see the tigers. Now Petra wants to get a real look at these tigers. They're on a bit of a platform, you know, so they can see down. There's no fence because of, you know, how high up it is. No, oh, well, I'm strong now. I can pick her up, even though she's 10, with one hand. Dangle her over. You're safe with me. But then a T-shirt rips. Uh, yeah, Petra, come here. Do you want to cross a look? Yep. Yep. Ah, oh, yes, please, you fuckhead. Uh, what did I say earlier? <laughs> Now have a look down there. Oh no, Petra! Oh no! <laughs> Louise, she's falling in with the tigers. I don't believe it. Can't, save her, save her. I can't believe this. I'm just changing Louise's voice every time I talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, so the tiger comes in. You know, he's walking in really slowly. He's pissed off. He sees little Petra. He starts running over to her. Roger, seeing this, is obviously, ah, you know, this is a horrible thing for him. So he jumps down. Lands like Captain America does. Does that swift landing. <laughs> the listeners will get that. You might not. <laughs> um, and he runs over and starts wailing on the tiger. And what does he say while he's wailing on the tiger? That's my daughter. That's my daughter. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> um, so while he's wailing on the tiger, the tiger obviously passes out from the destruction <laughs> that he's just been given. He's a superhuman guy. Yeah, and um, so he get so, but as he does his last punch, he uh, he smashes open a gate. This tiger goes flying into a gate, and suddenly all the other tigers, because there's there's multiple tigers here. It's a big safari zoo. Come running out, and they're running. You know, they're running amok. Is what they're, <laughs> they're running around the zoo. They're attacking people. They're killing people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and they get out of the zoo gates and they head into the city. And uh, so they run into the city. This is another Cats in the City situation. <laughs> 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 so they're, they're running into the city. And Cat they, City 2? Cat City 2, <laughs> Electric Bigaloo. <laughs> um, so they're... Right, where did I get to? So they're heading into the city. And, you know, they're, again, it's destruction everywhere. They're, they're killing people, they're eating people, they're destroying businesses the newspaper man at the shop he's got no chance <laughs> so that so um roger goes running in to the city and he's just punching these um tigers out one by one and what's he saying while he's doing it <laughs> twat boom you, uh, you bastards boom big twat boom boom oh do you know who i am boom 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 how many i didn't realize that there had so many bloody tigers boom boom <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's laid out all the tigers and the city is saved the mayor comes over because that's what happens in a lot of movies the mayor comes walking over and goes Roger you are the most amazing superhuman I've ever met here is the key to the city thanks and he says thanks and that's it that's the end Cat City 2 it's gotta be called. It's Cat gotta City. be, yeah. Um, yeah, this time it's not partners till the end, is it? But it's, yeah, Cat City 2, I like. Cat City 2. Superhumans, Cat City 2. <laughs> so that's it. We got yeah. it. Well, Superhuman Cat City. like it. Yeah. It's great. It's good. Um, Actors. Act- Actors. Actors. So Roger. Um, Roger is played by Roger Moore. <laughs> I like the thought of it being the same. <laughs> <laughs> um... You can be Roger. I'm thinking someone like... Christian Bale? Because he, he, he bulks up for roles too. He does, doesn't he? 
Petra, I'm thinking... That's the daughter. That's the right? daughter. The girl Aunt Matilda. Where, where, how long ago are we making this movie? <laughs> She's not a good child. Actually, she be, yeah. She's Sorry, not I a forgot, child I, I forgot about the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, she has to be about 10. You know any child actors, that's the issue here. Yeah, but you, um, not my name. But... <laughs> um, uh, oh, we'll just find Jeanette anyone. Cranky. Jeanette Cranky, yeah, she never ages. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Louise can be played by... Louise uh, Nerding. Louise Herding. I've just done what you did with Roger Miller. Yeah. Louise... <laughs> Sorry, that was a maiden name. When she married Jamie Redknapp, she became Louise, Louise Redknapp. Because I was thinking of Louise Redknapp. <laughs> like, I was going to say it before. I know so much about Louise. Um, yeah, Louise Redknapp's fine. Oh, she's probably quite old now. Um, That's fine. For the random sports cameo, I'm thinking of... Um, oh, um, Jamie Redknapp dressed as the tiger? No, Jamie Redknapp's his mate that works at the mechanics. Who I can't remember the name of. Yeah. Yeah. Small, small role. Yeah. Sorted. All right. So summary. Can you remember? I'll let you do that. Right. Um, so it's a guy that's working in a mechanics. Um, a Mazda certain car falls on top of him. He... Um, CRX2, was it? CRX2741. I was 2. just 2. making up a name. Fastest car in the land. So that falls on top of him. He uh, has a bad time with that. But, you know, it's fine because he lifts the car off him. He throws it up and says, you bastard. Um, he goes home, tells his wife. His wife is amazed, um, gives him a little lick on the bicep. Um, and then he goes back to the car yard the next day, tells his mate, who's played by Jamie Redknapp. And uh, what happens from there? It's the, it, it's the next day. They go to the zoo. His daughter, who swears just too much for a child, um, falls into oh you know he's showing her a closer look at the tiger's den her shirt his shirt her look at that her shirt rips she falls in um and then the he goes down roger goes down beats up all the tigers accidentally beats no beats up one tiger though whatever. accidentally punches the tiger into a gate breaks the gate all the tigers come out they attack loads of people in the zoo then they go to the city where they continue to attack people roger heads to the city Kills all of, or you know, at least knocks all the tigers out. Uh, he saved the city. The mayor is really happy about this, so gives him the key to the city. And then the movie ends. That's it. Yeah. What's it called again? Superhuman uh, Cat City 2. Cat. Mm. That's it. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again. Yes. See ya. Bye. Thank you for listening to the podcast. We release a new episode each week. If you would like to support the podcast, please share with your friends and write a review on iTunes. You can also follow our social media. We are LWAMPOD on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's L-W-A-M-P-O-D. Thank you.